Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how you can do a sentiment analysis using scikit-learn python package. So the first of all, let's go ahead and create a new notebook in a Jupyter notebook in a Google Colab Jupyter notebook. Alright, so it's a kind of a Google Colab notebook. And in meantime, Alright, so it's take a little time to open it. Thereafter, let's go ahead and give a name here. I'm gonna give here a sentiment analysis. Alright, with sklearn. Superb. And let's go ahead and zoom in so that, okay, so that we can see these coding lines. Alright, so we are going to do here a sentiment analysis using Scalar and uh, we are utilizing here our Google Colab notebook. Alright, so it's a kind of uh, uh, online platform where you can do coding. Uh, this is Google Colab link here. So colab.research.google.com. Alright. So we have here sentiment analysis with scalar and with this text data, you can bring it here. Thereafter, you can put it here like this. So this is going to be the sentiment analysis with scalar. All right. Superb. And the data set on which we are going to work here. So this is link for the data set on my GitHub repository at Lashmi Merit. Thereafter, come to this repository and search here IMDB. All right. So there I have IMDB movie reviews data set and this is a 50,000 data set. And there I have a train data set this train dot Excel SX. All right. So what you need to do here, you can copy this link. Thereafter, we will be doing clone of this repository inside this Google Colab notebook. Thereafter, thereafter you can do like this one import pandas as pd thereafter import numpy as np. So we'll be using this pandas data frame to read this data set. All right. And in meantime, we can also do here clone. So git clone. Thereafter, you can give a link to this repository, which we want to clone it and then you can run it. You have to pay attention on this mark. This is exclamation mark. All right. So this is here. And there you can see we have IMDB reviews data set and we are going to take here this one. So you can get the path of training data set thereafter pd dot read underscore excel thereafter you can give here a path to this data frame and you will see there there are 25,000 rows and two columns all right and uh, the reviews data set and there is sentiment and the sentiment is negative and positive. So we have read our data set. Now we need to import other necessary Python packages so that we can do here TFIDF, which is term frequency into inverse document frequency. So let's go ahead and uh, write here TFIDF. So the first of all, we have to import it. So uh, we have to import it from scalar. So from scalar dot feature extraction dot text. All right. Import here TF IDF vectorizer. All right. Thereafter from scalar dot model selection and we are going to import here train test split all right thereafter from sklearn dot svm all right so we have here svm import linear svc so we'll be using here 
SVM model for our classification and we'll be also using here accuracy score and classification report to evaluate our model. So from scalar dot matrix and then import classification report. All right. So you have got TF IDF train test split linear SVC and classification report. All right. So we have we have seen here how we can read our data set. So we are going to read this data set in df. So df is equal to this one. All right. So we have here our data frame df dot head. So this is first few lines of this data set. And their reviews are the text data and then here we have sentiment. All right. Now let's go ahead and do some text pre-processing and to do that text pre-processing you have to again come back to this repository Lakshmi Merit and then click on this repository and then you should have here pre-process KGP Toki. This is a pre-processing package for the text data which I have made here. You need to copy this one. Thereafter you can click on here. Uh, let me close this one and then install this pre-process package in meantime while it is installing all right you see there let's go ahead and copy this method which is get clean method and then I'm going to paste it here so this package is installed here and we also need to import it so this is import here we have import pre-process as ps all right, import pre-process KGP Talkie as PS. Thereafter on this link, if you notice, uh, let me zoom in. All right, so this is this one is an example how we can use it. All right, so here we have pre-process KGP Talkie as PS and get clean. And uh, this one is replacing backward slash to nothing and underscore underscore with a space we have here contraction to expansion removal of the any emails from the text data removal of URLs HTML tags retweets we don't need this one all right let's go ahead and special characters and this one is removal of multiple repeated characters like this one if you have any text data like this one it will be converted here like this and that part is being done by this one now let's go ahead and use a lambda method to convert this text data in a proper way so we have df rebuke is equal to df thereafter we have again here rebuke dot apply and there i have here a lambda x and in that i'm gonna do here I i'm gonna call this one get clean and in that there is x all right let's go ahead and run it it will take a time uh, it will take a while to complete it all right so it says that re is not defined so you have to import re which is regular expression let's go ahead and rerun that once again and now we are running this line of the code so it will take a while to complete this pre-processing all right, so the pre-processing is done here. Now let's go ahead and get here a first few lines of this data frame. And here now we have our text data, which is pre-processed. And if you notice there, we have here some special characters. So those characters have been resolved here. Those have been removed. And these type of the text pre-processings are done here. Superb. Now let's go ahead and do here tfidf vectorizer so we can do like this one tfidf is equal to tfidf vectorizer thereafter few input parameters which we are going to pass here like the input so what is input here uh, input data which we are going to pass in this tfidf vectorizer it's like the content which we want to pass so currently we are going to leave it as it is we are not going to pass here. Thereafter, we have encoding and other things. So let it be everything as it is. We have to only, 
all right get this one max features where it is saying that it is none I'm going to put this max feature is equal to 10,000. That's when I'll be using only 10,000 number of vocabulary size to pre-process this TF-IDF. All right, superb. So TF-IDF is there 10,000. Instead of making it 10,000, I'm going to make it just 5,000, just a small data set. All right, thereafter, once you have here a TF IDF, then let's go ahead and get our X data. So this X is inside this refuge. And then Y is DF and which, which is sentiment. All right, so there you have here a sentiment. Superb. Now you have X and Y. Thereafter, I'm gonna do here like X underscore train x underscore test y train so it's train test split y test is equal to train underscore test split and then i'm gonna use here x y and then uh, do you notice here x y and then here we have a test size which i'm gonna put 0 0.2 that's mean the 20 percent of the data will be used here for the testing purpose Thereafter, random state, I'm going to put here a zero so that we can re-evaluate this same output with this setting. All right, so we have got our X train and X test. Thereafter, we are going to create here. A All right, so, so X train and X test is there. One more thing I think we have to do here. Uh, before uh, doing this one actually let's go ahead and rerun it once again we have to do here tf idf transformation so for that process in the same cell i'm gonna do here da x is equal to tf idf dot fit underscore transform and in that i'm passing here x which is this review data all right so with this, I get here this sparse matrix. Now this X is now TF-IDF vector. And this is a sparse matrix. It has total 25,000 rows, which, which are the data and 5,000 uh, columns in each row, which is actually number of feature. So there are 25,000 rows and 5,000 features for each row. All right. So with that, we get here X train and X test. Now we are ready to train our model. So there we have CLF dot fit X underscore train and then here Y underscore train. Let's go ahead and run it. It will take a time. All right. So it says that CLF is not defined. Of course, that CLF is not defined. We have to do here CLF is equal to linear SVC. All right. So we have got our linear SVC thereafter run it and you see there this model has been trained with the maximum number of iteration 1000 and maximum number of features are there 5000. Now let's go ahead and test this model and see how much accuracy we are getting here. So you can do y pred is equal to clf dot predict and in that I'm going to pass here x test then you got here y prediction then we are going to use here a classification uh, a classification report in this classification report we need y true so y true is y test and then we need here y pred let's go ahead and run it and it says that we have got a fantastic accuracy which is 87 percent of the accuracy so this is huge accuracy for the sentiment analysis data all right perfect now let's go ahead and see how you can do the prediction on the custom data all right and if you remember what are our data so these are the data like this one uh, why does this movie fall below a standard etc so these are the negative reviews let's go ahead and write here a review i'm gonna write here this movie is really good all right, thanks a lot.
thanks a lot for making it so this is x data and uh, on which we want to do the prediction so the first of all all the pre-processing we have to do whatever we have done previously all right so in the same x i'm going to do here x is equal to clean text all right do you remember that i think it was a text clean what was that name all right what was the name okay get clean all right so it's get clean there we have a get clean in that we pass there x thereafter we need to do here a tf idf vectorizer so i'm gonna write here a vector is equal to all right there tf idf dot transform all right so this is going to transform this x in the form of vector all right let's go ahead and run it it says that this the, this uh this one expect a uh, iterable raw text that means we have to pass this like a list here all right something like this one and if you run it now you will not get any error so we have got a vector and you can check the shape of this vector which is one and five thousand so this one is number of features here thereafter we already have trained our model and only we need to do here predict all right and thereafter we pass here vec and this is a vector and it predict that this one is a positive review and if you want here the probability then what you can do uh, you can do like this one all right i think this one what is happening here uh, this linear svc do not return the probability by default where is linear svc all right so this one do not uh, return the probability by default and uh, if you want the probability of uh, prediction then you can use there a standard svm model so linear svc does not return the probability all right perfect super so you have got the best accuracy the 87 percent and uh, this is the data how you can uh, predict it on the custom data and if you want to save this model you can simply save it like import pickle thereafter you can write here this uh, pickle dot dump thereafter inside this you can write something like this one uh, let me get it here below so here you have to put the object which you want to store thereafter i'm going to say that here model and then it asks about uh, in what mode you want i want it in right binary mode and if you notice here you have got your model saved here thereafter you can download this model on your local computer itself all right perfect superb so you have successfully built here a sentiment analyzer and uh, you have also seen how you can do the sentiment prediction with a custom data thereafter how you can save this model thanks a lot for watching this video and please do like this video and subscribe this channel so that you can get updates in your inbox bye bye have a nice day